Jody Holman is a biologist. This is sometimes how we have to have to feed them. Right now, though, she's also mosquito food. Nine, twelve, fifteen. Yeah, it's a sacrifice, but it's all being made in the name of science. Holman works with the Consolidated Mosquito Abatement District in Fresno County, California, where they're trying a new strategy to kill off an invasive species called Aedes aegypti. These mosquitoes are creeping further north, and with temperatures rising, they're finding more and more places to call home. And that's concerning because these are the ones that can transmit viruses like dengue, yellow fever, and a new threat in the United States, Zika. It's our job to try to do everything we can to minimize the risk of disease transmission and also to minimize the potential for mosquito bites. And they're doing it by breeding and releasing more mosquitoes. Every week we're releasing 40,000 male mosquitoes. It may seem like they're making matters worse, but these mosquitoes are a kind of biological Trojan horse. It begins back at a lab where mosquito eggs are injected with a bacteria called Wolbachia. Once they're all grown up, the team releases adult males with the bacteria into 80s Egypti hotspots, like this neighborhood yeah. in Clovis, California. When a male that's carrying this bacteria mates with a female that is not carrying the bacteria, those eggs that she develops will not hatch and so they will not develop into larvae and thus adults. I don't know what's in that little tube that you just let out. Clearly, not everybody likes the new program. Somebody's in a lab, somebody's working, somebody's making insects and releasing them 40 feet from my border of my house and nobody bats an eye. This is the science that supports what we're doing. This is the research. If we have residents that choose to not believe that, there's nothing that we can do about that. Okay, they may be annoying, but the mosquitoes they're releasing don't actually pose any threats. Only the females bite. They need the blood to produce eggs. So male mosquitoes don't bite, which is one of the reasons why we agreed to be a part of this particular program. To really curb the spread of diseases like Zika, everyone will have to chip in. Residents need to realize that they can do much more to protect themselves by eliminating all sources, dumping all standing water. When you're dealing with living organisms, I don't think there is such a thing as a silver bullet. In the meantime, scientists like Holman will keep doing what they're doing, despite the hazards of the job. I love it when they flap my nose. <laughs>